2300 superchargers. That's what we're here to talk about today. Uh, we released this kit just before SEMA for the F-Type uh, with 750 horsepower, 700 foot-pounds of torque, and we're here today to give you a little bit more tech info on the Harrop 2300 supercharger. We are going to be making a playlist with information individually about all the other components that you need to make that much power. Um, there'll be separate uh, videos, so if you want to watch about a tensioner, we've got one. If you want to learn about the fuel system, we've got one. This will just be about the supercharger. So what is this guy? I've had a lot of questions about it since we released it. This is a 2.3 liter displacement supercharger that is a direct factory replacement option for any five liter supercharged Jag Land Rover engine from 2013 on for the factory 1900. So what's the difference? 1.9 liter displacement, 2.3 liter displacement. This item here will bolt directly to the factory uh, intake runners in place of the stock supercharger. So looking down on them here, you can see that the opening that connects to the lid is the same size, but where you see the biggest difference here is actually in the length. So if we look at this dimension right here, this is the length of the screws on the 1900. So if you were to look down in here, you could see the top of the screws. Uh, at the end of the casting there, with a little bit of clearance, you know, you've got roughly 175 millimeter length of these rotors. On the Harrop, you can see that it's quite a bit longer than that. So the front of this rotor sits closer to the snout. So again, if we measure this one, roughly 215 millimeters. So there's quite a big difference in the length, and that's where the extra displacement of the air comes from. This is the snout of the supercharger. There's a shaft that goes through here. This is where the upper pulley goes on to drive the screws. You can see inside this 1900 where that shaft connects to the screws. Here's a set of screws that we pulled out, right? So basically you need a way to couple the input shaft on the snout to what's driving the rotors. And what they use in the factory superchargers is this coupler here. So you can see inside, we'll show you a close up, it's got a spring inside it. They call this a coupler or an isolator. And what that is there for is to provide dampening for vibrations between the crank that's driving the supercharger and the supercharger itself. Inside here, you'll see there's a little spring. So that's what they use to actually provide dampening inside this. The remainder of this is made of, I believe, ABS plastic. Really, really common thing that fails on these superchargers. You start to hear that clackety, 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 almost sounds like a diesel sometimes when you start it up. It's usually because the spring's broken or inside here, the spring's actually worn away at this plastic. Um, you can replace these. It's a very common service item. You can replace them with a solid coupler. One of the cool things about the Harrop is they put a solid coupler inside this factory. So you already have an upgraded coupler inside there. These can be really problematic, especially when you put higher loads through the supercharger. So another great feature that they added to it to future-proof it against problems that the factory parts have. So every single one of these is hand-assembled at Harrop in Australia. I've been there, super impressive facility. And before it leaves their facility, every one of these gets put onto a testing rig and tested. So every single supercharger that we're se se sending out to you has been tested at Harrop. So aside from the fact that they're bigger, what is this actually gonna do for you? Well, in order to make more power, there are a number of other key items that you're gonna to have to add. Pushing more air through the factory heat exchangers does run into some limitations. You're gonna run into some limitations with things like ignition timing, uh, fuel delivery, depending on which version that you have. So that's something that we've been able to address with our kit. Um, we spent almost 18 months testing these on this test bed a vehicle, this uh, 15 F-Type R. I think we probably went down the airport runway close to 400 times, so 400 quarter miles, lots of dyno time, lots of time on the track. Uh, data logging with our own proprietary data logger, which we developed, which allows us to see a lot of critical information that you cannot see logging with generic tools like HP tuners. Um, it, we see a lot of people trying to log things with um, torque apps and stuff that don't actually provide you with accurate information. So we spent a long time researching this before we brought it out. Uh, Harrop spent an awful long time uh, developing it and making sure that they had 
everything done right and has a huge amount of expertise to do it. So you can put this on to any five liter supercharged engine. It will make stock power. You can run this with an 80 millimeter upper pulley and it will essentially make stock power. Can you make more power than this 1900? Yes, you can, but you cannot do it without running a number of extra ancillary items that you need to support those power levels. So that's one of the most common questions that we got when we released this was, I thought that it fit everything. It does fit everything, but until you have all the right pieces to support that, there's not really any point in putting it on in replacement of the 1900. So we spent all this time designing the kit, learning what needed to be done. We've got that uh, perfected for the F-Type. There are a couple of little minor items that we're very close to releasing for the F-Pace SVR, um, XF, Range Rover Full Size, Range Rover Sport, Defender. Um, those should all be available later in 2025. We will be able to support these power levels for um, most of these vehicles as we go forward and uh, certainly all of them in time. So any questions, drop us a line, velocityap.com. We're happy to go through that with you and give you a little bit more information about what all those items are.